Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the next track in the Track Garden Setup series. We arrive at Miami just before we head to Baku in a couple of days. So, uh, Miami, long streets, uh, you know, weather, well, it's a little bit hot in the game, but uh, yeah, a lot of long streets, a lot of slow speed corners as well, and a uh, sector one that can gain or lose you a lot of lap time. So, it's quite important to have the top speed. At the same time, you need some mechanical balance around here. Very quickly, Thank you to all channel members, subscribers, and Owen, you, uh, Owen Patron as well. Thank you all the patrons as well. Uh, let's get into the track guide right now, followed by a uh, setup guide after that. And at the end, we'll have the full speed replay if you want to watch that. It's in the timestamps. Now for the final corner here to set up your lap, uh, break right at the 100 meter board or around 120 in the race usually. And uh, you can take a wider line uh, uh, you know can break later and you can take a wider line to get a bit of a better exit onto the start finish straight so it gains you a little bit of time but i didn't really bother to do that here so you know maybe you can try that out and onto the start finish straight open up drs and heading into turn one you want to spot that black board or the part where the red and white curb meets that blue curb right it's all painted curb here mostly so break around 100 meter board and then down to third gear or fourth gear for the first corner and uh, let's see how do we do that right you can see the track is falling uh, going upwards and then falling back so be careful with your brake release you can take a little bit of the curb but not too much otherwise it unsettles the car and uh, important to prioritize the exit from here onwards it's pretty much going to guarantee how good your sector one is up to fourth gear up to fifth gear and you can take a little bit of this left hand curb the turn two but you need to lift and make sure um, your steering is straight as straight as possible and then turn three avoid touching the curb but stay close to it and keep your car tight to the right hand side all the way down to turn four so let's see that uh, in full speed here there you go bring the car back over to the right hand side as soon as possible it will gain you time there for sure and for turn four you want to look for the 50 meter board that's where you're going to be turning in for qualifying and also for the race uh, in the race it's just a little bit of a downshift and uh, a bit more lifting in qualifying you can keep it a little bit more flat sometimes fully flat for turn four here and just take probably half the curb here if your right height is too low your car will bottom out and the car will just snap so you need a little bit of very right height clearance for this uh, take half of it and then a uh, downshift and take half of the next right hander here the turn five I think yeah uh, Yeah, but don't take more than that. Otherwise it unsettles the car again. You want to prioritize the next few corners here, right and uh, And then turn six I like to avoid it in this game so it gives me a bit of a rounded uh, entry into the next part which is going to determine my exit uh, so I'm just going to make sure my car is not touching the curb. Now this part, turn 7 I think, it's a very difficult spot uh, to spot the braking zone. But uh, if you can see, uh, on the right where the black tar road is, between the two yellow floor bots, floor sponsor bots, that's where I visualize my braking point. And when I hit there, uh, break in a straight line, uh, try not to go onto the painted curb. Sometimes you lose a little bit of grip here. And uh, yeah. Up to third, uh, down to third gear, sometimes uh, you can keep it in fourth on the exit also, you want to keep it in fourth. But we lose our back end a little bit here, right? So definitely lost some time there. But yeah, uh, keep it flat. The more momentum you carry into the corner earlier onto the street, the more time you can gain for sure. Now heading into the next most important braking zone here, a big overtaking spot here. After the 100 meter board, um, just at the 100 meter board for qualifying and before 100 meters sometimes for the race a break in a straight line down to third gear you can go onto the painted curb here to break and now on the apex you can take quite a bit of the curb here actually but make sure you pin a little bit of throttle to keep the momentum up in this slow section here third gear fourth gear whichever you prefer stay tight the next right hander here so you can open up the next left hander there's a few different lines you can take here try it out and see which is faster for you and again i like to stay tight to this left hander and sort of 
aim for the exit curb which is coming up on the right hand side and then there you go so right around here just before i hit the red and white painted curb that's why i break but just a little bit of break you know not so much and the left hander the chicane over here the worst part of the track take as much as you can on the left right uh, put a little bit of throttle and immediately flick your car to the right keep the throttle there a little bit to maintain momentum and gain time and there you go it's all about controlling your car controlling your steering here uh, just to make sure the car is stable and bring the car over to the right hand side again to prepare for the next left hander for the main straight uh, for the back straight here uh, around the red and white curb again before you hit that that's where i turn in sometimes you can even downshift to second or keep it in third and you can take a little bit of this entry curb for some reason and you don't lose time maybe i'm wrong i'm just driving slowly i don't know you can try not hitting it on the exit uh, straighten out your car as soon as possible and just go for it right open up drs and you can breathe for about 10 seconds here or before someone overtakes you into the last corner and we arrive once again at the final corner similar to how you start your lap you want to break at 100 meter board or after the blackboard you pass it whichever you prefer down the third year tight on the apex let the car run right on the exit and there you go up to fourth gear up to fifth stay tight to the right and that is a hot lap around miami international autodrome uh, well sort of a boogie track for me i would say uh you know at least on the ffb side it doesn't really feel good to drive uh, but either way we'll definitely find a lot more time here probably in a couple of months when i revisit this now let's get into the setup uh, and very quickly if you'd love to check out more setups uh, there's a link in the top right and in the description to the playlist of all the track guides we've had so far for the aerodynamics well 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 um i did label it as high downforce but this is as high as you want to go 2015 you can go low on the rear wing and uh, maybe around 10 11 12 it's a good uh, balance on the rear for 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 the race and uh, you want to reduce the front wing a little bit for sure uh, otherwise the car gets a little bit unstable for the race and transmission i'm um, sorry i'm going too fast uh, 100 on throttle is pretty much the way to go around here for all the slow speed corners 10 percent off throttle to give you a the rotation you need under the brakes you can increase it to 20 or 30 for the race if you need more stability and 100 percent engine braking is the fastest way stops the car fast enough uh, minimum camber and tow as usual no changes to this uh, but the big changes are going to be in suspension so pretty much my default ish um, baseline 41 5 on the suspension feels really good around here uh, that helps you to uh, you know keep the car quite pointy and stable um, and you have to complement that with the right height so i feel 24 is just nice around here to clear some of the high curbs at the same time do not lose any cornering performance rear right hand on 62 i may have to revisit this but yeah it feels good with the five uh, rear suspension to take a lot of the curbs 21 16 anti roll bar feels just nice to take uh, the corners here and 100 percent brake pressure uh, 56 brake bias feels good around here you can use lower around 54 53 for some of the fast corners where you just need to tap the brakes a little bit and finally tire pressures minimum oh sorry <laughs> maximum tire pressures uh, for the race and uh, for qualifying you can lower it about maybe one psi uh, if you need a little bit more uh, grip and the tires will warm up much quicker and there you go uh, hope you enjoyed this leave a like subscribe and if, you know leave a comment if you need some help or if you just want to help the algorithm and i'll see you in the next one i'll leave you with the full speed track guide take care everyone stay safe and goodbye